Now that everything on the show is sauced up, it's time for the favorite segment of the show outside of when we eat barbecue. No topic if is off limits. Evan Klosky, see it. Simeon Rice. All right, let's jump right. Wait, how the heck did, how did this get on the screen? <laughs> Who oh, is that? God. How did this get on air? Oh, hey, Sim, I just got a big question. Oh, Jake my. Paul is about to be boxing oh, in Tampa. Are, are you ready to... Are you ready? Are I, are we, we got you facing Jake Paul. I think that's what we got going on here. We praise Tom Brady, but... Like, you what all are funny. <laughs> Yo, you all are funny. You're funny. You all are funny. Every week, huh? Every, <laughs> you are funny. No, me, okay. No, all right, you're going to troll me, huh? All right, I got you. <laughs> if that's how I look in retirement, retirement looks pretty I got darn you. good. <laughs> All right, Seam, seamless transition from Retire, us eating barbecue to six pack. <laughs> All right, let's get back to some football, please. All right, we've seen trolls. a lot of flags this season. Roughing the passers, targeting. I'm getting trolled on my own <laughs> show. <laughs> Sim, the football, the penalties, is, is protecting the quarterback good. I know you like getting after him, but the targeting, the roughing the passers, we saw it in New Orleans. Talk to me about it. How do you feel about it all? I feel like... We're in a different stage of sports, and, and even in society, well, we're in a very softer side of society. Oh, oh, it's like we want to take the fastballs out of the pitch. We want to put speed bumps into the track. There's, my, I remember as a kid, I'm going to give you all a quick story. As a kid, my father wasn't going to let me play football until I brought home tequila and car. Tequila and car, wherever you are, <laughs> thank you, because you began the beginning of my football career in my life. Because K- K- Keelan was smaller than me. And he saw him. He said, he playing? I said, yeah, he's on the team. He said, okay, Simeon, you can play. So after that, then, because my father was afraid of me getting hurt. But inside that helmet, there's, there's a symbol, a sticker in every helmet ever since I played that says, if you hit this way with the crown of your helmet, it causes injury or death. And guess what? And, and Pop Warner, I put that helmet on high school, college, and the pros. This is an inherent danger that we all agree on. So there is no really protecting anybody in football. As long as you playing within the confines of the rules of the game, that's fair play. Everything else you play with all out. As you see, there was a game last week where a team lost a game because the offensive player Cincinnati. put the defensive player in a bad position. Yeah, and they lost the game because of that. Y- so do you feel like this offenses are benefiting? Player sometimes it allows players yeah, I think offense is our benefit. It, it's allow, It's not allowing players to be their primal selves on defense. Offensively, you can play as constructive, as reckless, as savage as you want to be. And oftentimes, the defensive players have to pay a penalty because of it. Mm-hmm. The best news for the city of Tampa, since Simeon was allowed to play football, is this. <laughs> We're taking bets by phone. There's a new app. Depends that how it goes if it's good well, news. Well, <laughs> it allows you to take bets from your couch. You, yeah. can, you can do it. You play some Look, we sports. T- we bet. <laughs> we, yeah, that's right. We're making money or we're losing a lot of it. We talked earlier this season about gambling when it comes to the NFL. What's your take on the NFL changing its stance completely on this? I mean, the, the NFL is a corporation. It has no heart. It has no real. It doesn't identify with morality or anything like that. What we were told once was before was all a lie. It's a sham. I remember in college. Guys were vilified for taking money and you would say he took money and you would feel as though this guy actually robbed a bank when an agent just literally gave him money and it was against the rules. And now that <laughs> that's a part of it. Uh, players can make money. So there's a different uh, day and age. It all depends on what population says. So if population says betting is cool and the sport bars are filled with 15 TVs and you're watching 10 games at a time, it's a reason for that because ratings are up because money is being made because people are betting. It is what it is. You know, so we all benefit from the game of football, but it's not about good or bad, right or wrong, righteous or evil. It's just what it is. Yeah, business is business. Business is business, Evan Klosky. Uh, We're done with some business. Let's have some fun.